Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog. Today I'm filming another one of my favorite videos to shoot what my pen pals sent me. Okay, so as you can see, I have an amazing pile of the biggest, largest, bulkiest envelopes here, as well as some smaller ones. But these are just as incredible, believe me. Um, this would be number seven, if I'm correct. But actually, number six isn't even online when I'm filming this. Um, so, but I actually, okay, let me tell you a little story. Um, right after I was done with group therapy, I signed up for tons of swaps. Okay, so these two are actually swaps. This one is a pen pal letter, this one is an Instagram swap, and this is a package that I received from someone who has been following me on YouTube. Wendy, if you're watching this, thank you so much for this amazing package. Um, anyway, um, like I said, I already, I still have to upload the other pen pal video, but I wanted to film this because always when I receive mail, I like to keep it on my desk for I don't know, a couple weeks at least, just so I can look at it again and go through it again. And you know, usually I haven't replied to the letter yet. So I like to keep that on my desk. But as you can imagine with bulky envelopes like these ones, my desk is pretty full. Okay, so basically um, these have been on my desk for a couple weeks. And my, de my uh, desk is so full that I don't even have space enough to craft anymore so i thought i would just shoot one of these videos so i can declutter a little bit and then i'll upload them when time comes because even though i do shoot more of these videos i don't want them to appear on my site or on my channel all at the same time i want to spread it out and you know do do a couple different videos in between but anyway i'm going to film this and now i hope the lighting is okay because once again i close the blinds like halfway because it is so hot and the sun is on mm, on our windows oh also i don't know if you guys know this but you may think hmm, your desk is cluttered but you have enough space to film that is because this isn't my desk this is actually uh, our kitchen like dining table so that's why I always make a mess on my desk and then the kitchen table I use for filming because it looks way better. I'm going to go through these one by one. I'll start with this one, just because it's on my list. Oh, 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 I don't want to show you my address. Okay, so I'm sorry, but I, oh, I messed up the envelope a little bit because I want to cover up my address. Um, but this is actually a swap. Oh, sorry, don't have to, shouldn't show you her address either. This is actually a little swap um, with uh, Jessica. And we do swaps more often because she's also in my uh, Dutch swapper group. Um, okay, so um, basically in the envelope was first of all this incredibly cute postcard. I'm going to try and go through these a little bit more quickly because usually it takes me like half an hour to go through four meals. But anyway, this incredibly cute postcard that I really like is from Makeshift. This is definitely my style. And then there were a few paper, uh, pieces of paper that I can use for my mail. I especially love this one, which she got absolutely correctly. And then the letter. And it was for a, I think it was like the happy meal, send me some happy meal swap or something that I organized. Anyway, um, we have this little card with a pretty paper and this die cut that says hello. I love these type of die cuts. If I could, if I had one of those die cut machines, I would definitely get this hello because I would use it all the time. That's definitely my favorite type of die cut. And then this little ribbon, very pretty. And then when we open it, whoops. I don't know, her mail, her letter was also in here, I think. But when we open it, she has um, this very cute little layout in here. I don't know where to start, actually. Let me start on this page. So this is very clever, right? You know, I like to always um, hang up, sort of, like, put my washi tapes on the paper like this. But she actually put a die cut over it, so it looks so much better. So we have these three little washi tape samples. This one I really like as well as this one. This one I also like, but I already have that one. So you'll know that it's definitely my style. And this is a little picture here, sticker and some tea. I always love tea. And I also really like this little die cut. And then in this little envelope, there were some more goodies. More goodies. So what she sent me is these little stickers that I really like. 
because my profile says like I like botanical stuff so she's also said in her letter that she just sent me everything botanical which is perfect and she also included these little pictures which I always really I won't share her face on YouTube but I always really like the personal touches in mail so that was very I really like that a lot even though I'm not sure what this is Maybe a mouse? I don't know. But anyway, that was really cute and fun. Just because I know that we also chat on Instagram sometimes and because she's in my Dutch shopper group, so I, I like knowing who I'm dealing with. And then last but not least, she sent me these little labels, which I also specifically ask for always because I really like using them for, um, for addresses. And now that I look at it, she also used one on the front, which is very clever. I like these a lot, especially the black one because I can try writing on it with a white marker. I always love receiving tea in swaps as well as paper, as well as basically everything she put in here. So that was that. I just wanted to show you a fun idea of how you could send mail. Then the next one is from my pen pal Amelia. She also has a YouTube channel. I'll link it down below. Go check her out if you like these happy mail videos. She always uses the most beautiful stamps because she's from Finland and I don't know, but they just have amazing stamps. Amelia likes to make these huge envelopes herself. I actually opened it at the bottom because that was easier than the top. But she made this envelope herself, decorated it with this cute washi type and some die cuts. This one is so cute with the little rainbow. And when you open it, inside was some incredibly cute mail. This made me so happy. Um, because Amelia, as you can see, she also likes to make happy mail. In here was her letter. She actually decorated it as well, which is so cute. We have this cute little triangle paper clip. You all know how much I love my uh, my shaped paper clips. And then I don't want to show you too much of the letter, but <clears throat> she also used this incredibly cute little unicorn. It's like I think this is like a matching set. So she decorated the pages. I'll just show you this one because it's a little bit difficult to show you without showing too much of the letter. See, so she decorated it so cute. She's really creative. I always feel bad. I always feel bad when I send her something small because usually I get the most beautiful envelopes back. And I haven't replied to this one yet, unfortunately. But then we have this amazing flip book, which was definitely the highlight of my week in mail terms but that being said it doesn't mean that i only like receiving this kind of mail i also love all the little letters and all the notes that's also just a special but this was just really pretty as you can see she decorated the front with these doilies i like the mini doily and a die cut and then we have a little collage here which i really like i also really like the little pearls and I really wonder where she got all these die cuts from. And then there's this little tea in here. I don't know what it means. Oh, it's, gr oh my God, green tea, pear and vanilla flavors. That sounds so good because I've actually been looking for vanilla tea, vanilla flavored tea, but I can't find it anywhere. And then this little pocket, she made it with like one of those edge punches. I don't know what you call them, but I want to get one of those because this looks so much cuter than just a normal pocket. And then I am loving the life that I am celebrating or creating. That's so cute. So then this page, look how smart, has this incredibly, this huge paper clip. I also have these myself because uh, I love paper clips. And then you can actually take this off. So that is so smart because on the back here, she actually wrote her mail tag. So at first it looks like it's just decoration, but uh, it doubles as a mail tag. So then on, on here we have this cute paper clip. I say cute too much, but with a diamond. Diamond. And she also made a little shaker here. As you can see, she's so creative. I really love it. I mean, I already said this is a thousand times, but this is not like a standard for me in terms of mail. I receive a lot of different ones, sometimes smaller, sometimes bigger, but I love each and every one, but this is just like a little piece of art. Then this page has like a little iced tea recipe. 
which is such a fun and cute idea. You just flip it up and then you have the recipe here and then it says add lots of ice cubes. Very smart. <clears throat> and then in here we have her meal tag. So like I said, the other one has the meal tag answers and this one just has the meal tag in a very pretty pocket. Everything is so well decorated. And then this this page says goodies and this is such a cute die cut as well it says do this today find your creative voice and dream a little and then in here we just have a bunch look at that a bunch of goodies I think of everything yeah a bunch of goodies and also she used the paper punch again to make the um, the edges the edges look pretty and she gave me all these cracktus and botanical die cuts which I am absolutely in love with definitely going to put these to good use and then also these word stickers which I really like because I never really got them but I recently discovered that they're quite nice to decorate with and then these little flags and these little stickers and more I think these are from the same set and I can use these in my planner I think because it says like stuff to do night out important don't forget and they're really really cute so thank you Amelia for this beautiful mail cannot wait to reply to you so happy with all this mail that I received this oh and she also de decorated the back I love this color so cute so and this, like, I, I, I picked a few to show you, but this isn't even everything. I mean, I wish I wish I had more ideas to send out mail by myself, because I'm getting a little bit behind. Mm. Without going. Okay, and then for the next mail, I figured I would show you this huge package. And, um, yeah, I'm just covering up my address here and here. <laughs> because I don't want that to be out on the internet. But this was like, this is like one of those bubble wrap envelopes and it's decorated with all this cute paper. And I actually received this from a subscriber because I don't usually give out my address. But when I do, for some reason, I get the most incredible packages. Um, I have, I have a quick question. I don't know if it's weird to ask this, but a lot of people have actually been asking me if I have like a PO box or if they can send me some mail. And um, I was a little bit like, I'm actually, I actually never expected people to want to send me mail, but with the amount of questions that I've gotten, I'm actually a little bit considering it now, but I'm just wondering um, how that would go for you guys. So if you're someone who wants to send me something, how would that work? because I do know that I love hearing from you guys, but I also know that if I receive too much mail, then I will get like a creative block. So even though I would love to get a PO box, I cannot reply, I cannot promise to reply to the mails. So my question basically is, the people who want to send me something, is that because you just want to send me something? Or is that also because you want me to reply? Because obviously I would love to reply to everyone, but it might be a bit much because I also have my normal pen pals and my swaps. So just putting it out there, it's kind of scary for me to ask, so please be nice. But you know, just wondering how you guys would feel about that. Anyway, I opened it and I found this incredibly cute box. It's handmade. How, how, how have I never thought of making a box for my mail? And then it was wrapped with this little ribbon. And then when you open it, oh, as you can see, there's like all this confetti coming out, like hand punched, I think. I love flowers. And that was just so cute. Also, um, if you watch my paper gang videos, you know how obsessed I am with this paper. So I'm definitely reusing that. And look how incredible this is. So this is from Wendy. Wendy. Um, I will put her Instagram down below, but I will have to ask her first if that's okay. Okay, sorry. I don't want to put her Instagram down below. If that's not what she likes. But anyway, she sent me this incredible mail. She told me I didn't have to send her anything back, but obviously I'm going to try and think of something nice. Because she sent me this. Uh, look at the pretty paper. I love flowers. And this big die cut here. A little sticker. And these wooden, I don't know how you call them, but like wooden letters that say hello. I think they might be like Scrabble or something. I'm sorry, I'm not very familiar with those games but it's such a smart idea and then oh you guys I already opened this on Instagram so if you recognize this you may have seen it in my Instagram stories oh, 
But I just also wanted to show you this here because it's just so incredible. Like it has so many pages and each page is more beautiful than the next. Everything is like handmade and done with so much care and it just basically, uh, I have to admit, it made my eyes water a little bit. Like what? 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 I don't even know where to start. So first off, she made this little tag and on there is some information about her. I won't show you that. So there's some information, uh, like some little facts about herself, which is a fun thing to do when you're sending mail to someone unknown. And I want to know where she got these little puffy stickers. They're so cute. And this says about me and this says read me and here is just a little note from her. And she actually messaged me like um, that she wasn't really that she was like starting with snail mail. So when she asked me if she could send me something, I thought it would be like a little envelope with something uh, okay-ish. And then she sent me this huge envelope and something so pretty. And then we have this little playing card here, a vintage playing card and a cat, cat shaped paper clip. Now, how amazing are cat shaped paper clips? And then these are pictures of our cats, which I love. She introduced them. <clears throat> And then this just says you can never have enough stickers. Well, huh. trust me, you don't have to tell me that. I know. Um, so this is a little pocket. And then we have all these amazing stickers. How cute are these puffy cactus and succulent ones? So all of these stickers that I'm definitely going to use. And I like these as well, like to and from, because I can use them on the back of flip books and stuff. Or maybe even on swaps. That's also a good idea. So a lot of amazing stickers and then this page has even more stickers and this is something that I've actually never seen anyone do before. So she made these little, I don't know how you call them, but basically these little um, paper strips and she just hung the stickers behind that. So the paper strips are actually holding the stickers in place. The paper strips are actually holding the stickers in place. Like how smart is that? And they're all different kinds of stickers, little cats little succulents and cacti here, these little flowers and the camera, and that's all so incredible, made me so happy, and <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to steal this idea, Wendy, just so you know. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else to say about it, but I just, this is why I love making these videos, because now that I've seen this little paper strip idea, I'm going to copy it, and maybe some of you also like to try, uh, try some of the ideas in here and you know we can all learn from, learn from each other something else i learned from wendy is that i cannot only like i have a, a, a scoreboard right but i only use it to make envelopes i never thought of creating a little box never thought of it never create thought of creating these little gift bags for tea so these are handmade little gift bags whoa scared me handmade little gift bags and i can tell you this smells amazing because rooibos and chai is actually one of my favorite teas and this one has both the flavors in there so these are two different teas that she sent me by vietnamese green tea tea and rooibos chai which is amazing and i love these little gift bags it's so cute and then there is another clipper tea which is my absolute favorite um, and then these yeah, this page is just beautifully decorated. And then we flip it over and we have these little, um, how do I call them? Like tags. These are little cards made with botanical vintage images. That is so clever. And I have these images, I have some of these books myself, but they're not as pretty as these. And then she clipped them on here with a little clothes pin. And these are little <clears throat> little tags, also made with the vintage images. And I have these vintage images, but I only use them like to stick on to envelopes or flip books. And I've never thought of making tags or little booklets from them. And this is even cooler. I don't know how she did this, but these are also like the the images, I think. And they're on this like sturdy this sturdy um, cardboard. I don't know how she did that, but that's really clever. So you have like these little wooden, no, not wooden, little sturdy tags. I don't know how else to explain it. And look, she took them in one of these paper strips again. And these as well, very pretty. So 
people say that they get inspiration from my meal, but when I see things like this, I always wonder, did you come up with that all by yourself, Wendy? Because that's amazing. And then this is so cute, she has like these little ladybugs that I can stick on stuff. Now you all know how much I love ladybugs and how much I love sticking stuff on stuff. And these are little split pens and I've never seen split pens with images before. And I'm definitely going to use these to make these uh, string tied envelopes. I mean, how cute is that, right? And it just says random nice goodies um, that I thought you would that I thought would fit you, basically, in English. And then these are just handmade gift bags. Whoa! So I think these are the same as the tea ones. So she made me some extra. This is amazing. And I'm definitely going to try and recreate these. And then in this little uh, paper strip is, ta-da, one of these like little pom-poms. I don't know how to call that, but it's like a little pom-pom and it's adorable. I'm definitely going to find a good place for that. And then some more, I think, die cuts or stickers from cats. <laughs> and all of this, this is just made with so much love. Also, this page, it says a little, um, some flowers for you in your favorite color, which is blue. And that is totally right. And these are all just... Uh, more flower clip outs. <clears throat> I'm so happy with these because all the botanical books that I have, they're actually more plants. I never found a book with flowers. So <laughs> for her to send me these, that just makes me very excited because I can definitely use them uh, in my mail. And then this says more flowers. And when do you spoil me rotten? And these are just like these die cut flowers. So cute. I don't even know how to thank you. I'm, I'm definitely going to try and track down your address so I can send you something in return, but I don't know how to repay you for all this beauty. So as you guys can probably imagine, this made me so happy. This made me so happy and how, I don't understand how this lady can say that she is a beginner because this was just incredible. So I wanted to show you that. And also it's kind of weird in a good way that people want to send me mail because it makes me feel like so honored. And then I have two more. I'm first going to show you the other big parcel and then I'm going to show you this one from Jenny because it's also very special. And this was a swap because there was a lady who had all these beautiful die cuts um, from a die cutting machine. And I was basically jealous because um, I want a die cutting machine. So I asked her if she wanted to do a swap so I could send her some goodies and she could um, exchange my goodies for her die cuts, basically. Because I sometimes feel like I need everything. Uh, I hope that's relatable. When you're a crafter, you feel like you need everything. And um, so we set some guidelines, but she actually um, doubled those guidelines sent me double the amount that we would send so I am going to have to send her something else because I actually felt quite guilty because she sent me like double what I sent her <laughs> okay I don't even know where to start okay so I'm just gonna start with this some cute little die cuts that I'm definitely gonna use little butterflies little flowers little hearts absolutely love it and this is one of these I think they're called memory decks is it called memory decks? I'm not sure. I think this is one of the memory decks thingies. So you can you, you can have like one of those little holders that you can put all these in and collect them from different pen pals. And I've actually never gotten one of these, so that is quite exciting and very pretty. This is so cute. This she wrapped this all so cute. I can definitely and look, I don't know, like we met on Instagram, but it feels like she memorized my entire swap bot profile which is not possible because i didn't give it to her but she has sent me everything that i could ever want such as the hello die cuts i was just talking about them right and she sent me hello and all these other little die cuts as well as these flower ones i mean how beautiful she made like the little embellishments out of them but these are actually little die cuts that she has and i am so happy with these like this is this is the reason why i would want one of those die cuts machines in the first place and she says stop and smell the roses 
And these are more die cuts, such as little leaves and little butterflies, and it's all just... Oh, I like, I opened this and I almost screamed. Like, literally. I'm going to do this one first because she also we also uh, said that we would do like a little crafty part and if you want to see what I created her which is like half of this then go to the flip books video that I made I'll put the link in the description box down below as well because uh, mine is like nothing compared to this and she made me a little tag flip which with these little hellos and a butterfly and then this little collage which is so cute I really like these little uh, animal dots. And then she made a little collaged tag, which I haven't actually never done before, but it's such a good idea. And then this is the first time, because the, when I opened this, the first thing I looked at was the tag flip. This is the first time I actually gasped, because how cute are these little sequins? They're flowers in different colors and they're sparkly, and I'm just like a magpie. And I've actually never seen this before. I think it's really clever. She made a tag with a... How is that called again? With a fuse tool, yes, that's it. And then she put the, the sequins in there and it's so cute, I don't even want to take it apart. Like I want to use them, but at the same time, I just want to keep them in there, right? And then I have these little washi tape, this little washi tape sample, very cute. Um, this little in-between uh, tag and more of these flowers. The second time I gasped, naturally. This is probably my favorite, it's like a rose rosy colored one, rosy silver, very pretty, but I basically I love all of them. I've never seen die cuts like, I mean, I've never seen sequins like this, so pretty. And another little decorated tag, and on the back of the decorated tag is this, this stack of stuff. I mean, I got spoiled rotten, you guys. She gave me these like washi strips, these little tags, or I don't know, um, cards or images more 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 it just keeps going you guys know how much i love roses right it just keeps going it just keeps going i have been so spoiled you guys so this was all in this tag but we are not done no another in between tag another in between tag such a good idea and then this one says live your life in full bloom with these die cuts and this is actually probably my favorite little collage because it has little flags. How cute is that? <clears throat> and then this is a washi tape sample again. I've never seen any of these, which is usually a good sign. And then this pretty butterfly tag. So cute. And this, I, been, I don't know what, this is, what it is. I don't know what this is. It looks like a, like a doily or something, but it's so pretty. I'm definitely going to reuse this. Another in between tag, and then yes, this is actually this is actually the only thing I asked her for, and that were those die cuts, right? This was what I wanted, and look what everything she sent me. I was so obsessed. So I can use these for crafting. I also love this little bird paper clip, but this made me so happy. This made me so happy. I need to get this stuff from other people, otherwise, I have I end up buying one of those machines, and I shouldn't. I don't have the space and then look I almost I almost missed this one because it's so tiny but this is a little washi tape sample of two mini strips of washi tape so cute I mean you would almost miss that right and then again it's just like she read my my um, swap up profile because I love letter stickers and how pretty are these so gorgeous so this entire tag flip was her crafty part but that wasn't all she made me a pocket letter as well and this was really weird because actually I had I had never received a pocket letter and in that week I received three like what the hell I never received one and then I received three in one week how's that even possible how how does that happen okay, so I really hope you're still enjoying me even though I'm babbling um, I might have to cut this video in two it's too long this uh, little shaped paper clip I mean, everyone who sends me mail seems to know me so well. Okay, Whew. then we have this pretty, 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 pretty little um, pocket letter. I almost lost a word. She, she, so she decorated each one of these. How cute is this cat? But she decorated each and every one. This is probably my favorite little, little butterflies. All these die cuts. 
and then the tops and then whoop, on the back can you believe it more goodies i mean just like i didn't get enough already die cuts die cuts stickers this little die cut these little tags butterfly flowers die cuts flowers i mean how am i ever gonna i feel like all of you are just making me feel guilty with these incredibly beautiful mails so this was so pretty and i like how she, this i never thought of how i should send a pocket letter but this is very smart it's quite small so that was a beautiful pocket letter and then the final thing finally we've reached the end is she also gave me these little stickers that she also used in the tag flip how cute are they right they're like slightly puffy which is cool pretty obsessed so this was all the lovely happy meal in here and then finally i'm going to show you this one um which is actually a swap as well but we are pen pals now so that's so cool okay so i'm gonna have to find a way to do this last one very quickly sorry guys but um i actually talked so much that my boyfriend is coming home in five minutes in ten minutes actually and uh, i have to finish filming before that okay so this one was actually a swap between me and jennifer and now we're pen pals because we just made we just had such a great connection with her and this is how she wrapped it which is super cute and then you open it and I've ne and again this is something I've never done she made like a layered flipbook but um, I don't know how you call this but this one is shorter than that one and that one and that one and it just gives such a cute effect so all the pages are different lengths definitely going to recreate that and I love your creativity so again we have these little flags here that say Vivian and uh, that's just adorable and then this paper clip which is also adorable I'm going to use that for my planner and then this says make your own magic and actually has a little uh, how do you call that like flip a flipping a little uh, project life card that says meal tag and we have some really fun meal tags here I actually forgot to I actually realized now that I forgot to reply to that in my letter sorry I'm gonna have to do that in this letter um, and then we have some die kits in here I will leave it closed for now because the envelope is just so cute but I can see cactus and a cat <laughs> and a shaped paper clip yippee and this pa shaped paper clip holds this little tiny garland in place I mean I'm obsessed with these right now <laughs> look how cute that is so we have a botanical print all green which is totally my thing and once i have my own craft room these are definitely going on the wall cannot wait did i tell you guys that we're thinking of moving and then i might actually get my own craft room how cool is that okay so shaped paper clip big plus <clears throat> we have this little i don't know how you call it this also like a clip but a different one with a little flower we have a bow love bows have this flow tag we have a butterfly die cut this is actually something i was looking for um baker's twine in pink we have another little tag this pocket is so stuffed little tag and then this little um how do you call that shaker pocket so cute and it also has like little buttons in there which is very smart it says life is better when you're laughing so cute very adorable and then we have this little monthly overview for july and i'm going to put this in my bullet journal because i use these every month i mean i use them i make them every month but now i don't have to because i have this cute little overview then we have these little stickers like weekly stickers monday tuesday blah, blah, blah. and i can use them in my bullet journal as well which is great i love when people send me bullet journal stuff actually no one does that so thank you jenny and then we have this little again a paper clip really love these <coughs> the little stone on it like how do you call it like a little uh bead i think you call it a bead please tell me if i'm wrong so adorable and then this is like a little look a little i don't know how to explain that but it's like a little opening folder and it's filled with a washi tape sample more washi tape samples how cute are these i love the flowers these little um i don't know how you call them but they're basically like folder tops like the 
Oh my gosh, Vivian, this is going great. Like, this is, you would, I don't know how to explain this, but this is what you would do with it. And that's great, I can definitely use them for my flip books. We have these um, botanical cutouts. Love. Okay, this is difficult, I cannot get it out. Botanical cutouts. A little sticker that says for you. A little succulent stickers, a little cactus stickers. How cute is this? And I really, I'm also going to steal this little pocket idea. So if you see me make this, let all credits go to Jenny. And then this is already the last page of all this goodness, and it is again the shape paper clip that I'm so obsessed with. This is probably the fav my favorite one that I ever got, and it's in shape of a little, and it is in the shape of a little envelope. And my camera cut me off, but I was just saying that I love this little paper clip in, a, in an envelope shape. I've actually never received one of these before, so I'm definitely hoarding this one, treasuring it forever. And this is where her letter was. I took it out just so I could answer it. And I'm sorry that I forgot to answer your mail tag, but I'm going to do that in our next letter. Um, anyways, um, I hope you got some inspiration from this and all the other amazing mail I received. Don't forget that even though I show you all these beautiful mails, it doesn't have to be hard to start pen pal lettering. These are just some really special ones, but um, making just regular mail is also totally fine. <laughs> Um, but I, I wanted to show you all these special ones just because I hope that you can get some good ideas from them. Anyway, with that being said, I think I should say my goodbyes. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up, leave me a comment, follow this channel, uh, send me a message if you like. And I really hope to see you guys again very soon. Okay, bye bye.